Today, we're back in school. Get a lesson in wine tasting, find your artistic inspiration, and hang out with some Sooner legends. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds and this week we're headed back to school. Way back, in fact, this schoolhouse at the corner of 2nd and Boulevard was the first schoolhouse in Oklahoma Territory with a class of 19 students. But don't worry, we're not just going to hit the books this week. In fact, our Jeff Roberts has already fumbled his way into a destination that celebrates his favorite subject in school, football. All right, all OU homers, it's a restaurant, it's a bar, it's a hotel, it's a museum. What is it? It's Sooner Legends. Let's find out exactly what it is. We have some of the best steaks in all of Norman. They're uh, absolutely fantastic. We also have ribs. They're smoked on a 20-foot uh, open hickory wood pit. Oh man, speaking of those ribs, Jamie assures me they still serve all the barbecue classics that they've always been famous for. And we've added the Mexican food. So now you can get uh, fresh homemade Mexican food with our barbecue meats. So things like beef brisket enchiladas, pulled pork tacos, something a little bit different. Um, you're having real high quality meat with enchiladas that are rolled to order, with taco shells that are fried to order, um, sauces made from scratch in house. Of course, one of the things you cannot overlook, the red velvet cake. Get a load of this. Well, we are known for our crimson and cream red velvet cake. Now, don't you wish you were here to share? So obviously this place is definitely a restaurant, but you know, I've heard the bar has a few trick plays of its own. When it's packed in here and the dance floor is going and it's loud and everyone's having fun, you can go walk through a set of doors and be in a completely different environment. So after all the partying, you gotta have a place to stay. And man, is this the place. I consider it almost a big bed and breakfast. Um, you know, 136 rooms. We have 120 rooms, 16 suites, and every room is obviously named after a former OU coach, player, team, or sport. Uh, I have over 3,000 plus, it's probably a lot more than that, pieces of memorabilia up here in the hotel. No way. Did he say over 3,000 pieces of memorabilia? It's a museum. It's a tribute to the University of Oklahoma. It's a tribute to the great players of the past. Oh, this is sweet. Every room you're gonna love, especially if you're an OU homer like me, Jamal Brown suite is where we are. They got the memorabilia, they got the big screen TV. And yes, for us guys, ladies, you'll like it too. A man cave leather couch, awesome. So after the big game or your big day here in Norman, when you get to Sooner Legends custom made beds, you're gonna be sleeping on cloud nine is what they say. You know, I gotta give it a try for you. Make sure it's, you know, Okay for you to come check out. I'm thinking Cloud 11, actually. Now we're inside the J.C. Watts room. Same memorabilia, same customized beds. Impeccable. And for the younger viewers in the audience, if you wonder about that college education, you can go from this to this. Man, J.C., that is some serious hair. So the next time you're in Norman, you got to check in at Sooner Legends. Did I get the Bradford suite? Yes. In Norman. I'm Jeff Roberts. For more information about Sooner Legends, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. So now that we're back in the classroom, it's time for some serious studying, or maybe some not so serious studying. Ardino Lolly has discovered a teacher who's turned the learning experience into one big party. Welcome to the Tipsy Artist. And my name is Tiffany, Tiffany Bora, like the island Bora Bora. And you can look me up online at tipsyartist.com. Uh, tonight's painting is Fleur de Lis, and um, it's a very simple, easy painting because we have a template that goes with it. And thus begins another lively painting session with the Tipsy Artist. From an idea that started years ago, Tiffany has now been teaching art in a different kind of way in downtown Guthrie for a while. The concept is quite simple and a lot of fun. Uh, tipsy Artist parties are social wine and paint parties. Basically, you could walk in off the street 
We have everything you need here. We have uh, the canvas, the paint brushes, plates, aprons, everything you need, 16 by 20 canvas. And you could just come in and start to paint and I guide you, teach you through the entire painting. And by the time you leave, um, after wine, of course, you bring your own bottle of wine. And, uh, or it, we also did at restaurants. And so you can either enjoy the wine there and the you know, restaurant food there, or if you come to the gallery, then you bring your own wine, bring your own snacks, and you can enjoy that with us and then just paint with us. And by the time you leave, you walk away with the masterpiece. One of Tiffany's mottos is there are no mistakes, only possibilities, and the possibilities here are indeed endless. We're really excited about girlfriend getaways here just because most of our uh, traffic is women. So uh, we do have some men that show up. They're usually dragged by their wives. So we can have romantic getaways or we can have girlfriend getaways. But with the girlfriend getaways, we can bring in large groups of, we have bachelorette parties, uh, bridal shower parties, housewarming parties. And then to make it even more fun, you can have your paint and wine party and then spend the night in a local bed and breakfast. Of course, you can explore the wonderful shops in Guthrie the next day. The Tipsy Artist is housed in the Gallery Grazioso, where you can find lots of impressive work from local artists. Now, Tiffany also serves as executive director of the gallery, and people have been flocking here to paint, have a little wine, some snacks, and explore their artistic side. And due to the success of the Tipsy Artist, the classes have been growing by leaps and bounds. And when you are painting, it's relaxing, complete with background music. Today, the music was provided by Bill Miracle. Most of our, our students are beginners, and um, I would say that's the vast majority. And the emphasis really is on entertainment, relaxation. I do teach, though. I make sure that you walk away from the class with you know, real knowledge about how to hold the brush, how to paint, few strokes, uh, how to do some basic shapes. So it's not just a painting demo, it's real instruction. But on the other hand, it's not so serious. Uh, and that's why we love, you know, creating an atmosphere that's filled with music and wine and relaxation so that you can actually just enjoy the night and feel very relaxed. At the Relaxed Tipsy Artist and Gallery Grazioso in Guthrie, I'm Dean O'Lolly. To sign up for a tipsy art class, just click on over to travelok.com where you'll find a link to our show. Here's a class many of you will enjoy, Winemaking 101. Inside this historic school building, folks are still taking tests. Taste tests, that is. We'll take one when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. It was a Saturday morning and I went to an exercise class. As soon as the class ends, I go to the parking lot and somebody had stolen my car. I couldn't believe it. So I called AAA Insurance. They offered me a rental car. They told me everything was going to be all right. So when my car was found a week later, they said, Bob, you need to change the locks on your car. I would have never thought about that if it wasn't for AAA. They really took care of me. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. It was almost comical. It was like, I can't believe this even happened. I look down the street, I see there's a tree across my son's car. And I was just like, I called my AAA agent, Patty. She said, we can take care of this. AAA and Patty are great. You just feel like they have your back. They make everything as easy as possible. I mean, they really take good care of us. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. We've discovered a schoolhouse in Drumright that was built back in the 1920s by J.D. Rockefeller to serve the educational needs of his oil field workers. While the subject matter has changed, our show Wagner found that old school building is still a great place to learn. You can confirm this with my parents, but I was a student forever, and still about this time of year, I get the urge to go back to school. I recently found a remedy for that in Drumright. 
It's a school that's open year-round for grown-ups who never really got the school thing out of their systems. J.D. Rockefeller bankrolled the construction of this public school building in 1929 for the children of his Tidal Oil Company employees. The oil field between Dermoride and Cushing, which is about nine, nine miles, supplied the United States with 18% of its entire oil supply, about what uh, Saudi Arabia does. At the start of the oil boom, the city of uh, Dermoride had about 35 children in it. Five years later, there were over 2,500 kids in the school. Some say the spirit of one of those schoolgirls never really left and may greet you in the ladies' room. But that's a story for another time. In 1945, the school system built new buildings in town, and this building was no longer needed as a school. Over the next 45 years or so, the keys to this timeless federal-style structure bounced between civic organizations, and the building was eventually abandoned in 1990. By the time we became acquainted with the building, we'd been on that most endangered list for about 10 years, and the building was beginning to deteriorate badly. And um, it was, the building was at a crossroads, either somebody saved it or it was gonna have to be destroyed. Thanks to Gary Schroeder and other visionaries, the beloved landmark remains. After extensive restoration, it began a new life as a fully operational winery. That's right, today there's a different kind of barrel associated with the title school, barrels of wine instead of crude oil. And from its school days, a teaching spirit remains. We operate out of a school building, and so we get to educate a little bit on the wine thing. My first lesson was that there was no need to feel silly about my taste in wine. You like that? Now, if you like sweet now, this is sweeter. I think everybody gets to decide for themselves what good wine is. And uh, there, we have a lot of people in Oklahoma that love sweet wine or semi-sweet wine. And uh, we have a lot of people that like dry wines and we produce them both. The winery and vineyards are available for weddings, parties, and business meetings. And these halls that once welcomed the footsteps of children now welcome the footsteps of a whole new generation of visitors. We enjoy people coming over and having a bistro lunch, enjoying free music in the, on Saturday afternoon, having a free wine tasting and a free tour, and uh, just kick back and enjoy a little bit of this wine culture that we brought to Oklahoma. Whiling away an afternoon here at Tidal School, studying wine in this historically academic setting, went a long ways towards satisfying my yearning to go back to school. But mom and dad, don't worry, I promise this time you won't be getting a bill for my tuition. In Drumright, I'm Shel Wagner. To get more information on Tidal School Winery and Drumright, including upcoming harvest events, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Up next, our Back to School episode has an educational destination that you won't want to miss. We're dropping in on some schools of sorts in Tishomingo, and AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues after this short recess. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. One of the leading causes of crashes on the road today is distracted driving. Now that everybody texts as a way to communicate, many feel obligated to text while driving. In fact, drivers who text are 23 times more likely to crash or get into a near crash situation than drivers who are not texting. Texting drivers take their eyes off the road, their hands off the wheel, and their minds off of what they should be doing, driving. That's why AAA strongly supported House Bill 1316 to make texting while driving illegal in the state of Oklahoma. Though the bill didn't pass this year, AAA is determined to ultimately see an anti-texting law passed. It's against the law to drink and drive. It should be against the law to text while driving. Be smart. Don't text and drive. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day.
Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma and our back to school celebration. Our Shell Wagner has found a location in Tishomingo where it's actually fish that are in the schools, but it's the visitors that are doing the learning. An historic water wheel is all that remains of a one-time sawmill, while nearby the clear, cold spring waters of Pennington Creek babble over ancient rock formations. Granite outcroppings that are some of the oldest in the mid-continent region. A window to a 150 million year old Oklahoma, older than you and me. But that's not the only window here. The Tishomingo National Fish Hatchery has been perched on the banks of Pennington Creek since 1929, with a mission to fill in where humans have steered the natural order of things a bit off course. Re-establish populations, of, you know, paddlefish, alligator gar, and uh, alligator snag turtles that were historically there. Um, each of these species serve a unique purpose in the circle of life, basically. If you stop in Monday through Friday from 8 to 3 and grab a biologist, you can take a fascinating tour. There are tanks and tanks of fish at a variety of stages and ages. Some are prehistoric species you may not have ever seen close up. On the day we visited, spoonbill, also called paddlefish. Historically in the state of Oklahoma, they used to exist over the entire eastern half of the state of Oklahoma. Currently, they only exist in probably two small populations. You won't be able to take your eyes off these fishing lures come to life, but that's only part of the tour. Don't miss the fish fry. You can leave your tartar sauce at home for this one. Fry is hatchery speak for baby fish. These are baby channel cat. And when they get a little bit bigger, they start calling them fingerlings. Some quarter million channel cat are raised here annually, and during feeding time, the term school lunch will take on a whole new meaning. These guys will be released throughout the state, coming soon to a trot line near you. But make no assumptions about Tishomingo National Fish Hatchery. Things here aren't quite what they seem. What you'll assume is a frigid air is actually an incubator. And what appears to be a tray of ping pong balls is really a batch of alligator snapping turtle eggs. This is the Jurassic Park portion of the tour. So I warm them. Biologists here can change the turtles from male to female by simply changing the temperature of the incubator. There's also a turtle nursery. From turtles that I thought resembled a cute little German chocolate brownie, I was getting a bit hungry, to ones that would like to take a bite of you. For this guy here, if it's a male, can get to be up to 250. After all that education, your brain will be swimming and you'll need a rest, and guess what? You're in luck. There's a peaceful and underused picnic area alongside Pennington Creek, where you can also break out your rod and reel. As far as fishing here, you can catch a bunch of different sunfish. Uh, we have all three bass species here, largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted. And then we've got channel catfish and flatheads that are in the creek here. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you, but there's no fishing in the stocked ponds, except during the annual Kids Fishing Derby held each June. At the conclusion of your day here, you'll boast a deepened understanding of the creatures that share our state and of the efforts to keep them around for generations to come. In Tishomingo, I'm Shell Wagner. Guided tours of Tishomingo National Fish Hatchery are available Monday through Friday from 8 to 3. Check the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com for a link to their website. Well, class is not dismissed just yet because up next we have a schoolhouse in Bricktown that's more rock than brick. Discover the Bricktown sound when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just a couple of minutes. It was almost comical. It was like, I can't believe this even happened. I look down the street, I see there's a tree across my son's car. I was just like, I called my AAA agent, Patty. She said, we can take care of this. AAA and Patty are great. You just feel like they have your back. They make everything as easy as possible. I mean, they really take good care of us. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. 
invented the road trip. Come along for the ride. It was a Saturday morning and I went to an exercise class. As soon as the class ends, I go to the parking lot and somebody had stolen my car. I couldn't believe it. So I called AAA Insurance. They offered me a rental car. They told me everything was gonna be all right. So when my car was found a week later, they said, Bob, you need to change the locks on your car. I would have never thought about that if it wasn't for AAA. They really took care of me. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. Remember the first time you heard the words, Mom, Dad, can I borrow the car? <laughs> Boy, I sure do, from all three of our kids. Driving's a huge step for teens, and it's a milestone for us parents as well. It's important that new drivers receive the best training possible. That's why AAA's Take the Wheel Parent Taught Driver Education Program for teenagers is so vital. Oklahoma law lets teenagers who complete a driver's education course, including AAA's, drive at an earlier age. They can get their unrestricted license at age 16 and a half. Otherwise, without any kind of driver's education, it's 17 and a half. Plus, with AAA's Parent Taught Program, Take the Wheel, your team will receive an insurance discount up to 25% with AAA Insurance Company. AAA membership is not required. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. I'm guessing the 19 kids who went to school here when it was the first schoolhouse in the Oklahoma Territory wish they had a school where you could just play all day. Interestingly, that's exactly the kind of school that our Dino Lolly found when he took a tour of UCO's Academy of Contemporary Music. Regardless of whether you play in a band or are just a fan, for many of us, our love for music is a passion. It moves us, touches our emotions. When we hear music, we are engaged. That certainly is the case for the students and faculty at the Academy of Contemporary Music at UCO. But here they go beyond the music. Yes, they have students who are performance oriented and study drums, guitar, keyboard, bass, and vocals. But along with that, they're also studying uh, the music industry and how it works so they can't be taken advantage of. So if you're a producer, you walk out of there understanding how you're going to get paid. Because doing the work, is one thing, getting paid for it is a whole, a, a whole different thing. <laughs> you know, and, and we want to help them understand how to, how to make a living doing this. Scott Booker certainly knows how the industry works. As someone who has been successfully involved in the music industry for years, most notably as the manager of the Flaming Lips, he and all the faculty either works in the music industry or did, and they retired and returned to Oklahoma. The program at ACM at UCO is patterned after a similar one in the UK but here you can get your two-year degree, which can then go into a four-year Bachelor's of Applied Technology or BAT degree. Scott says the partnership with Oklahoma City and Bricktown has been tremendously successful. We did a thing uh, at the end of the semester where we had 64 bands playing in 14 venues down here. And uh, the semester before, or the year before, it was only about 30 bands, you know, playing in eight venues. So we see this growing, you know, we really want to be that hub for when people think of music and anything to do with music, that they come to us first because we want to give jobs to our students and, and help them. And along those lines, the model they are using is about creating business. It can still all come back to economic development and tourism. I think of each one of these 500 students we're going to have here as a potential small business. And, um, you know, I, I, I think that is really our, our goal is to create a situation where not only can they grow um, in a, in a skill set kind of way, like, you know, whether they're playing guitar or learning how to run Logic or Pro Tools, but also become a small business. And to run any business, it takes that dedication and passion we spoke of earlier, something these students and faculty have in abundance. And you can see some of that enthusiasm at their weekly concerts at their performance lab. These students are vibrant. You can tell that this is something they've been wanting uh, their whole life. I mean, time and time again, I have students, I have parents come to me and they're like, thank you for starting this. I don't know what else they would have done. They, they love music, they want to be a part of this business, and you're helping them figure out how to do this. 
at the very vibrant ACM at UCO in Bricktown. I'm Dean O'Lally. Well, it's time for the bell to ring. That's the end of our back to school show. Thanks to the folks here at Edmonds Territorial Schoolhouse for hosting us and thanks to you for watching. Next week, find out about the Route 66 red wine and fine food. Where else but right off Route 66 near Veneta. And authenticity is the key to this guest ranch experience near Tallahena. Hope you'll join us. Until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.